Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 132, getting related table data in Liquid. Liquid is a fantastic language for reading and displaying data from Dataverse on your Power Apps Portal. Once you've retrieved a particular row from Dataverse, for example, by using fetch XML, by going through the entities object, or by referencing the global user object, you can get data from related tables using a few different techniques. First, as discussed in tip 130, if the related table is represented as a lookup on the row, you can get the ID or name of the record by using the lookup column. Remember that you need to specifically reference the ID or name after you specify the name of the column in your liquid syntax. Just referencing the name of the column won't work. If you need details about the related row that go beyond just the name or ID, you can use the relationship name to get a reference to the full entity object. For end to one relationships, the relationship name will give you an entity object with all of the columns. For one to n relationships, the relationship name will give you an array of all the related rows, which you can then iterate through. I like to use the metadata browser tool in the XRAM toolbox to find these relationship names. Another option, since you have the ID of the records, is you can manually create a fetch XML to get related records and use Liquid to insert the ID of the records into the conditions. This can be helpful if you only want a subset of the related records, like if you only want contacts related to an account that are from a certain country. One thing to consider with any of these approaches is performance. If you just use the lookup column, this does not result in another call to Dataverse. The other two options, getting the related row via the relationship name and using fetch XML, do perform another query to Dataverse. So if you just need the name of the record, use the lookup column. And don't forget about tip number 123, which shows how to get all the data in a single query using links and aliases in fetch XML, which can be particularly useful if you're looping around a list of rows and you need related data for each one of them. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 132 on getting related table data in Liquid useful.